What's going on everyone? Welcome back to 2 Z Garage. Behind me is my 2006 Nissan 350Z and it's all taken apart. Let me explain that. One of the biggest issues that I've been having with it ever since I put these new wheels on is I've been having a lot of steering wheel shake. And that's most likely, well, it is because the wheels were unbalanced. I finally went, got them balanced, found out that my tie rods were worn out, my ball joints were worn out, the wheel bearings were worn out. Everything was worn out, so I decided to order everything new, which actually just came in in the mail. All this stuff from TRQ. I got new front hubs, new inner and outer tie rods, new lower control arms. Everything is gonna be nice, new, and fresh. While I was taking all those apart, I was like, you know what? Why not get all these parts now that they're all out and take them over to Jonathan, AKA Luxury Choices, my powder coater to get them all powder coated and change the look of the 350. So basically what I decided to do is powder coat all the suspension. While I was at it, I even took off my under shield, the splash shield. Then I came up to the engine bay and while I had all this stuff taken apart, I was like, now that the car is gonna be down, I can't even use it. I might as well do the maintenance that I've been needing to do to it, which are the valve cover gaskets. And to get to the valve covers, if you guys didn't know, I have to take off the intake plenum. So I took off the intake plenum and I was like, you know what? Why not get this powder coated too, now that I'm here? I'm pretty sure you guys can put the dots together and know where I'm going with this. Now that I'm at it, I might as well do this. And then I just get in this big mess and I, everything's all taken apart now. So anyways, I got some clips of taking that stuff apart. So I'll throw those up real quick and then I will continue with the after. So here's a quick video of how the suspension looks right now with you know, regular metal color. And there's the under shield. That's all gonna change. So I wasn't planning on going this far right now, but what I'm gonna end up doing now is taking off the intake plenum, get that powder coated. I already took off the crossbar to do that too. The windshield wipers. So I think for now that should be pretty good. But everything else is already taken off part. No more suspension stuff here. That bottom shield gone. I got all the parts laying out over here. It's gonna be insane. So I wasn't planning on going this deep, but since I'm already here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this lower intake plenum as well and the spacer and have that powder coated too. But since I'm down there, I'm gonna do the valve cover gasket, the probably the spark plugs, all that stuff, because now it's all wide open. And then I gotta clean this up, cause that's nasty. Look at all that carbon buildup. But once she's done, this thing's gonna probably gain 100 horsepower easy. Mm, easy. Especially with the powder coat. My little magnet tray. Keep the stuff organized. Oof. Man, I might as well put injectors too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Out here with my boy Jonathan. Look at the good old Silverado. Yes, sir. I'm gonna show you guys the before on all the parts real quick. <laughs> it's and a mess. it's a mess in here, but he had to throw all the parts in here. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. You guys can see the intakes in there. He's gonna powder coat all that, the arms, you didn't the tell spindle. Him the color, right? I didn't tell him the color. Okay. Stay I think tuned. it's very unexpected. Stay oh yeah, stay tuned. For sure. And then there's all the wheel. Oh my god, it looks sick in the video. <laughs> Have they seen the faces? No. No. Not the color. Color ain't revealed so yet. So it's, but they've seen the rims in general, right? Yes, okay. when I test fitted them. All right, and they have no idea what the color is? No. Okay, perfect. I, want, I gotta think on how I wanna reveal that. Geo is such a baller, he went with the most expensive color you can buy from Prismatic per pound, just to give you guys an idea. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> now that you guys have seen the clips, well, part of the clips of me taking off the intake plenum and the suspension and all that stuff, we're gonna jump into the valve covers. I ended up just buying two brand new valve covers with the gaskets. As you guys can see, this thing is gonna be nice and fresh, both sides. Even came with a new PCV valve, which also I needed to replace. So all in all, win-win situation. And while I'm at it, <laughs> I'm gonna change the spark plugs too. I, I, I was looking at the injectors because the injectors are right there. And I was like, while I'm at it, I'm right here. I might as well change the injectors. But I was like, nah, 
let me not get that deep because then I'll have to get it tuned and uh, it'll just be a big puzzle and I don't want to do that right now. So let me take all this stuff back off and we'll get to the valve covers and start taking that stuff apart. So I figure let's start on the driver's side. Ignore my butterfly towel. This is just to protect my fender. It's my girlfriend's favorite towel, but send it. that this is the old junk now we got a nice new one going back in all right I got the new one ready to go one thing you want to make sure is of course make sure that the seals all pushed in in all corners all throughout the valve cover you want to get some fresh RTV silicone put it on the half moons and in the corners I mean that's what I'm doing when I took it off, it had some there. You have to scrape off the old silicone and then put some fresh one on both corners. I probably put a little bit too much, but it'll be all right. All right, so camera died had to go get another battery but to give you guys a quick update where I'm at this side is completely in tightened down what I did is I just used a quarter inch small ratchet and I just tightened it down snug it up you guys don't want to put those too tight because they break very very easily and they strip out you don't want that I left the coil packs loose and all this wiring harness loose so that I can move it out the way whenever my spark plugs come in because they don't come in until Friday. So it just makes it a lot easier for me to just pull these right out and change the spark plugs and then I'll put all that back together. So now I'm going to jump on the other side to do the other valve cover. This side looks like there's going to be more of hoses and wires to remove. So I think we should jump into it and get this thing tackled and done. Yo, if I don't get a like on this video, because I'm trying to get you guys the best angle and the best content. Come on now. I think I deserve a like. You know, if you guys, you know, just go hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. Got this thing here. Got that one over there. This one on the radiator. It's sketchy out here, but it's a nice angle. side is finally out so you guys can see this side looks pretty good as well overall normal wear nothing too bad I see that hole down there in the head I'm not sure if that's normal it's weird that it has that hole like you guys see that right there focus there you go you guys see that crack right down in there I'm not sure what that is very weird All right, it's a few days after that glass clip and Jonathan was able to get these parts done in like two days, which is honestly very impressive. I got all the parts in the back of the Mazda. So I'm gonna open up this trunk and reveal the color to you guys. And then we'll put all the parts in the car. And uh, I have the wheels too. The wheels are all put together and everything. They, they look amazing, but I don't wanna show you guys those just yet. But ah, they, they're, they're really nice. But let me just open up this trunk and check out this beautiful color that I decided to go with. And I wouldn't have gotten this color idea if it wasn't for Jonathan because he sent me the color and it's just, I'll explain to you guys why we went with this color afterwards. <laughs>
So as you guys can see, all the parts are laid out on the table behind me and I actually ended up changing my shirt because I'm sure nobody wants to see my armpits. <laughs> you guys can see the beautiful green and the beautiful color I decided to go with on the intake plenum. And I decided to show you guys the wheels because why make you guys wait? They just look so amazing. And uh, let me get into details. So as you guys can see, this powder coat is the most expensive powder coat money can buy from Prismatic Powders, which is the universe color. And it's like the, you know, color changing as you look at it at different angles. It's insane. And I decided to do the wheels the same color with the polished lips with 24 karat gold bolts, which is baller. This is called Illusion Green, as I mentioned earlier, and I did the spindles, all the lower control arms, the whole under shield, the under uh, crossbar, the engine bay crossbar, all in that green. And if you guys did not see the small details, look at this, oh my God, the color looks beautiful here. These are the windshield wipers, and I decided to do them in the universe to kind of add that touch. I didn't want to do the green because I thought it would have been a little bit too much, but it should definitely stand out a lot. And then of course the lower intake plenum, we were just gonna do that black, but Jonathan went ahead and did it the universe so that it all matches, which is perfect. But I'm super excited. This stuff is gonna look amazing on the car. And these wheels are gonna look even amazinger, if that's even a word. They look sick. The polished lips I've always wanted since day one of owning this car. And I think these are gonna look phenomenal. I just spent money to get these tires balanced and I got to spend money to get the car aligned so I'm not going to put those new wheels on yet because I don't want them to scratch it while doing the alignment or something and after I do the alignment and get the car sorted and everything is good put back together we'll be putting the wheels on and potentially I don't want to say in the near future but eventually what I want to do and I'm sure you guys are probably like why didn't you do it now I want to powder coat the calipers that illusion green so that it all ties in together and it all matches as you guys see it's actually blue right now all the calipers jonathan actually powder coated those and they look phenomenal but i think with the green against that wheel it's gonna look insane i'm gonna get started on putting this thing together i got a lot of parts laid out as you guys can see i got a lot of work to do i'm gonna start on putting the engine back together so i'm gonna do the intake plenum um, put all the new gaskets and put all that back together in the engine bay and then we'll get on the suspension stuff. see I got the intake on the whole pipe all the hoses and everything on the plenum are connected everything's hooked up and you guys can see the throttle body came out phenomenal it looks great I'm glad I decided to go with the gloss black because it goes with the intake pipe and uh, it just ties it all in together perfectly I went ahead and put the plastic piece back on because it covers up all the front end and all the wiring harness it just looks better with it now what's next is the crossbar so far the bar has been the hardest part to put on I had to deal with spacing it up. I had to put washers underneath of the bolts and the bar on both sides to compensate for the intake plenum spacer because the bar was rubbing the intake plenum. And the problem with that is it rubs the hood. So I should be good now. I adjusted this bar and pushed it up a little bit. And now there's plenty of gap, as you guys can see. But this thing is looking phenomenal. And I think this completes what I have to do in the engine bay. So I'm gonna move on to the windshield wipers, put those on, and then that should be it for everything up here.
these are all in so this bottom piece is on all right so now we got one of the car look at that that is so dope <laughs> that's so cool now you can see it starting to come together the best part about it is you can see it from the engine bay i think that's sick it definitely pops i need to get some lights in this thing by the way, if you guys were wondering where I got the idea to do green, it is from this guy. I went and bought this brand new jack the other day to jack up the car so I could start doing all this stuff. And then, you know, when I put it next to the car, I was like, dang, green and blue? That doesn't look bad together. So then I decided I'd text Jonathan. Then he was like, dude, illusion green would look sick. So he gave me the idea of this color and I just thought it looked so dope. So I'm glad I chose this color. It is sick. After all is said and done, this is how it all came together. All the green on the bottom, all put together, the under shield, the spindles, the control arms. I didn't do these top ones because you're not going to see those, but you guys are probably wondering, it kind of throws it off that these are blue, but in the future I do plan on doing them green just like this, and then that'll tie everything together and everything should be spot on perfect. But. You guys can see this thing looks amazing. It looks amazing. One of the things that I decided to do was go ahead and get the tires mounted now since I'm going to get the alignment. I'd rather do the alignment with the new wheels on the car already. So that's going to be on the next video. If you guys enjoyed this one, please give it a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing if you have not already. Stay tuned for the next video when I put the new wheels on. That's going to be like the final touch just... And then, you know, like I said, in the future, I'll do the calipers green and then there'll be another 